Star Wars fans, welcome back to the channel. It is the YouTube channel of the Jedi Council and it's good to be back with you. With uh, A little bit different to what we've done previously. If you check out our YouTube channel and kind of see some of the links in the comments below, uh, you'll see we've done some videos around day building some Lego, some kind of looking at our collections. And today we've got a, an unboxing video, but a tiny bit of a difference. So as you can probably see, I'm in running gear. So this is a Star Wars running t-shirt that I got when I did the half marathon over in Disney World in 2018, matched by my lovely red hat. Um, but effectively today is gonna to be an unboxing of some new running trainers that I've managed to pick up from Adidas. So, here's the box. Uh, as you can see by the clue is in the title of the video, uh, it's basically, the Ultra Boost 2019 Grey Edition, something like that. Uh, and effectively, these are a Star Wars crossover uh, with Adidas. So Adidas and Star Wars have always had a bit of a relationship in the past, and they've done some really cool tracksuits, jogging bottoms, t-shirts, you know, and now they've got some really cool running trainers as well. Being the runner that I am, I thought this is a good thing for me to kind of check out and see what they're doing. So before I go any further, this is not hosted, uh, these weren't gifted, uh, I bought these trainers out of my own pocket. Um, why that's important, uh, I'll get into the, into the review in just a minute and kind of tell you got interest in a thing about why that's important for me anyway. Um, so let's jump in. So this big box looks like what they were delivered in, uh, and then I'm gonna be taking out these awesome little box that actually contains the trainers. So what you can see is a really cool theme in straight up uh, from Adidas where you've got the box matching in with the Star Wars, with the stars all the way around, uh, and a little description on the right, and that is the Ultra Boost 19. So this is last year's edition of the trainer. So again, why that's important is every year they seem to be bringing out some new trainers uh, that are kind of crossover with Star Wars. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. So let's get into the box and see what these trainers look like, shall we? Okay, so by the way, first time I've seen these. I've had these in a box for a couple of weeks, opened them just to make sure that they were there and obviously they are, which is good. Um, so let's go for it. So opening up the box, the paper's pretty cool. So just to give you an idea what that looks like, guys, the paper is like a blueprint. We can see a lightsaber, I'll go that way, a little tip of an X-wing, um, and I'll actually show you guys in a bit more detail what the paper looks like once I take the trainers out. So, what are these actual trainers? So these are the Star Wars Adidas Original Ultra Boost 19 Gray Trainer. Uh, so these are a running trainer, which is really cool. Uh, like I said, being the runner that I am, I'm always looking out for some deals. Uh, so when these trainers have actually first come out, going back to my point around why it's important that this isn't hosted, um, these trainers retailed at 169 pounds and 99 pence. 170 pounds basically for a pair of trainers, which some people might find that's you know acceptable. Uh, some people may not. I'm a bit of a trainer head, uh, so I've got quite a few pairs of trainers for myself. But I mean, for me, I probably wouldn't have paid uh, 170 pounds for these particular trainers. So why did I buy them? Well, they were on offer. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, Andy, Mr. Lego himself from the council, sent over a link to the Adidas website. Well, basically giving you an offer of 50% off for these trainers, but they were only in a limited type of shoe size. Fortunately, my shoe size was one of the ones that was available, hence the reason why I jumped in. So I got 50% off of these trainers. So I got these for 85 pounds rather than 170. Much more, for me anyway, an acceptable price rack bracket uh, to pay for some trainers. So what do they look like? Here is the trainer. So as you can see, uh, a couple of things to pay attention to really, and one of the reasons why I bought them uh, is the cool design feature on the sole. What you can see there is that's a blueprint of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, so this is the right foot. I'll get the left foot out in a minute because the trainers are actually different. Uh, well, same train, just some detailing that's a little bit different, I should say. So what you can see is the kind of, again, the Millennium Falcon on the right hand side. The trainer itself, um, is actually mesh. So it's like a, a fabric material, um, which is really good for running because it is quite airy, lets the sweat out effectively. Not very nice thing to vlog about, to be honest with you, but nevertheless, it's true that all runners kind of have to think about. Um, and if I go to the front, what you'll notice, it's like a sock. So it goes all the way down the trainer. Uh, you don't have a separate tongue the way you kind of do in a conventional trainer. Uh, and just to kind of focus a little bit more on the detail, you can see on the tongue, we've got the nice symbol of the rebels as well. 
little bit of coloring and detailing there as you can see on the trainer uh, of, of what we have. This is on the inside of the shoe. You don't get the detailing like you do on the outside of the trainer as well. Uh, but what's interesting for me, if I turn it that way, never tell me the odds. Now, as a runner, <laughs> that's quite an interesting thing to have because everybody likes to never tell them what the odds when they're completing their half marathon, marathon, 5Ks or whatever that may be. Um, and for me, one of the appeals for this as a running trainer is the cage around the ankle, that's quite solid. Um, I have very bad ankles and very bad knees, so I have to be very mindful of some of the trainers that I wear. Um, runners tend to wear whatever suits them best in the, in the actual kind of gait and how they run. So for me, picking up a trainer that's like that, um, with the, the nice cushioned sole as well to give my knees the protection and the ankle cage to effectively make sure my ankle doesn't um, roll, because they're very liable to, is, is quite important for me as well. And see if we can pick that up. Ultra boost at the bottom, uh, a little bit of detailing there as well, uh, which for me again is, is pretty cool. And the inside of the trainer, for those of you that are wondering, yeah, it's a continuation of the blueprint of the Millennium Falcon as well, which is that's pretty fancy for me. Uh, and what does the sole look like? Just a regular Adidas sole, really. The, the old bar there across there as well. So for me. That's not a bad start. So that's the right trainer. I'm gonna put that down there. Uh, and then I'm gonna bring up the left trainer. As I touched on at the start, these are slightly different actually. Um, on the face of it, it looks pretty similar. You've still got the same kind of styling, the color, the ankle cage here. And then obviously you've got the Millennium Falcon blueprint um, along the right hand side, turning it round. Again, similarly to the other foot, you don't have the imprint of the Millennium Falcon or the blueprint here either. But where the differences are, tongue. You've got the Millennium Falcon here on the left shoe, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, you've got the Rebellion symbol or Rebel Alliance symbol on the front again. Uh, but what else is also different is at the back. Jump to light speed. <laughs> Again, sometimes I really wish I had that when I'm running a half marathon to be able to jump to, high, uh, to light speed to get that over and done with a little bit quicker when I'm running a half marathon. And then on the back again, we've got the ultra boost, um, kind of detailing for the, for the actual shoe as well. So again, a nice fill to the trainer, um, just to bring the two side by side again, just to give you guys a bit of an idea. You've got the right trainer, which has just got the Adidas and the Star Wars symbol, and then the left-hand side has also got the Millennium Falcon. Spin them round, and you've got the detailing. Um, try and get that a bit better. And you can see there, and there, how they link up together. Uh, jump to light speed, and never tell me the odds, which again, I think is really cool. So, very good pair of trainer. Um, Gonna try them on in just a minute and I'll obviously show you guys what they look like on my feet. Uh, but nevertheless, initial reaction is very cool. Um, really like it, glad I managed to get a pair for me. Um, important question that some of you may be thinking, am I gonna take them out of the box? Clearly I have, um, and I'm actually gonna wear these. Whether or not I'm wearing for running or whether I'm wearing for when I go to Disney World or theme parks, because these are pretty good trainers to wear for that as well. Uh, if that's to be decided, maybe I'll do a little bit of both, who knows. But just before I actually show you guys what these look like on my feet, just a little bit more about the paper. So paper that came in looks like that. So again, a nice little mixture of lightsabers, cross-references, uh, Darth Maul lightsaber there, Obi-Wan Kenobi's there as well. Uh, a little bit of a description about the lightsabers actually, which is pretty cool. And as I keep going up, we can start to see on the left-hand side Little bit about the Rebel Alliance, which is on the other side, and I keep going up, and it's just a repeated pattern. Um, but the detailing, I mean, they could have easily just put these in regular trainer paper, make it a bit boring. Uh, but the fact that I've gone to that level of detail is, is pretty cool of Adidas to have done so for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to put the trainers on, give a bit of a walk around, and I'll come back and show you guys what they look like and how they're running. So here I am with the trainers on. So as you can see, uh, really kind of nice looking. I've uh, just got back from a run, that's the reason why I'm in shorts. But nevertheless, you can see the trainers are really comfortable, quite bouncy actually, which is quite nice as a runner. You kind of want to get the, the protection on your legs and your knees. Um, they look really 
I think they look really cool, uh, very comfortable to wear. Um, I have high insteps, which is a bit of a strange thing to have. Uh, and as a runner, I'm very conscious of the trainers that I have to wear so they don't kind of make, give me cramp and crush my feet. These are actually really comfortable for that, even though they are the sock. Uh, sometimes you do get with a sock that kind of cramping if it crushes your foot too much. But for me, um, I think it's pretty cool. So just to give you give guys a bit of a close up. Very comfortable. I'm um, going to be happily walking around Galaxy's Edge one day in these, hopefully in the near future. Um, I can't wait to take these for a test run. So guys, that's my review of the Ultra Boost 19 Star Wars crossover running trainer. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm looking forward to wearing these, like I said. One other thing that I did miss that I only realized when I put the trainer on, on the lace, I'm gonna try and see if this works. I don't know if it will. You can see the Rebel Alliance symbol. There we go. Uh, it just allows you to really kind of get that Rebel Alliance feel on your shoe even more so, which is which is a pretty cool, um, pretty cool feature actually. And that's on both trainers, obviously. So yes, we are the Jedi Council. Thank you very much for listening to us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So whenever we drop some new content, you're going to be ready and waiting. If you want to get in contact with us, kind of comment on the video below, obviously. But if not, we're on Twitter. Catch us on at the Jedi underscore council. Uh, Facebook, we are TJC underscore the Jedi underscore council. Instagram, we are at the Jedi underscore council underscore TJC. Find us on the website, www.the-jedi-council.com. And also don't forget... When you want to listen to our podcast, we have a back catalogue on SoundCloud. Again, find us for the Jedi Council and may the force be with you.